You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, Bold and Beautiful fans. We want to talk about something sad but newsworthy today about B&B, and that is what actors from Bold and the Beautiful have died, which ones have passed away. We want to first talk about Andrea Evans because she just passed away recently. She died on July 9th. 2023 at age 66 after a battle with breast cancer. If you don't remember Andrea Evans from Bold and the Beautiful, she played Tawny Moore from 1999 to 2000 and again in 2010 to 2011. Tawny was the mom to twins Amber Moore and April Knight. Tawny was not a nice lady. She was kind of a bad girl, a bad mom who encouraged Amber's bad behavior. So she was super good on the soap and she just died way younger than anybody would expect. Before we dig into this second death, if you haven't already, we would appreciate a subscribe so we know how many people are listening and we can bring you the best content. The next sad death we want to talk about from Bold and Beautiful is Darlene Conley. She played the original old school Sally Spectra way back in the day. Her role of Sally was created for her by co-creators William Bell and his wife, Lee Philip Bell, and she was phenomenal. A lot of people loved Sally Spectra, and they really like that they kind of brought her memory back by bringing in a new namesake, Sally, several years back with Courtney Hope in the role. So Darlene Conley passed away on January 14th, 2007. She was 72 when she passed, and she too had come out of a battle with cancer. So while the actress passed away, Bald and the Beautiful has left OG Sally Spectra alive. They refer to her every now and then as off traveling with a hunky younger man on B&B. As of now, we see that they are probably not going to have her pass away, but you never know since her namesake is over on Y&R. Maybe they would write a character death at some point, or they may just not mention her again. So also linked to the original Sally Spectra was her tailor, Saul Feinberg. He was her number one guy at Spectra Fashions. And if you remember, he loved Sally. He had such a big crush on her. Michael Fox played that role. And he passed away at age 75 on June 1st, 1996 of complications of pneumonia. And they actually wrote a death arc for Saul Feinberg too, so that they could you know, mourn him and everybody could do it. And then they also brought back a namesake, Saul Feinberg, when they brought back the younger version of Sally with Courtney Hope, which I thought was very interesting. All right. The next person to talk about is actor Joseph Mascalo, who played Massimo Marone. Is it Marone or Maroney? I'm going with Marone. So he passed away after he left Bald and the Beautiful. Massimo was Ridge Forrester's biological dad, and he had gotten Stephanie Forrester pregnant, and that's who his parents are. After a few years, around like 2006, Joseph Mascalo left Bald and the Beautiful. He is actually better known uh, for his portrayal of Stefano DeMera over on Days of Our Lives. So Joseph Mascalo passed away on December 8th, 2016, at the age of 87 of complications with Alzheimer's. Next, we're going to talk about Gladys Pope. Gladys Pope was this iconic and really fun character on Bald and the Beautiful, and she was played by the legendary comic actress Phyllis Diller. Phyllis Diller played Gladys off and on on Bald and the Beautiful from 1996 all the way to 2012. She was a cosmetician, beautician person that was often in scenes with the original Sally Spectra. Her last appearance on Bold and Beautiful was shortly before her death. She passed away on August 20th, 2012. She died peacefully in her sleep at the ripe old age of 95. And then there was another iconic comedy legend that guested on Bald, and that was Betty White. She played Stephanie Forster and Pam Douglas's mom, Ann Douglas. She appeared on 23 episodes airing over a period of three years from 2000 
2006 to 2009. She was credited as a special guest star. And then the character she played, Anne Douglas, passed away from pancreatic cancer on screen. And then actress Betty White herself passed away on December 31st, 2021, 17 days before she was going to turn 100 years old. She died at age 99 of complications of a stroke. Another actor that you may not necessarily remember from Bold and the Beautiful, but you will definitely remember when I tell you what his big hit movie was, that's Jeff Conaway. He was best known as Kanicki on Grease. He also was on Taxi. And on Bold and the Beautiful, he played this guy, Mick Savage, from 1989 to 1990. Mick dated both Macy Alexander and Kristen Forrester. And the actor, Jeff Conaway, passed away very young and tragic at age 60 on May 27, 2011 from complications of an accidental drug overdose. Jeff Conaway had struggled with addiction and with relapses in his recovery for years before then. All right, so another actor that you probably know better from something else, but who did a little turn on Bold and the Beautiful is Robert Clary. You may know him best as the little Frenchman Le Beau from the 70s hit TV show Hogan's Heroes. But Robert Clary also did a little more than 40 episodes on Bold and the Beautiful as Pierre Jordan. He made friends with Brooke Logan back in 1990. And then he later relocated to L.A. and opened a restaurant with help from Eric Forrester. And that was his little arc. And a lot of people would eat out at his his French restaurant. Actor Robert Clary passed away on November 16th, 2022, at the age of 96 of natural causes. Of note, he was the last cast member from Hogan's Heroes to remain alive until 2022. All right, here's somebody whose name I'm going to try really hard not to mangle, but I'm very worried about. Anthony Adabo, Adabo, Adabo. He played twins, Tony and Johnny Carrera. One of them was known as Rush Carrera. This was 38 episodes back in 97 to 98. One of the twins died on screen. He fell from a balcony when he was fighting with Eric Forrester, and then the other one survived, but they didn't stick on the show for that long. Anthony Adabo, and I hate if I'm saying that wrong, he passed away at age 56 on October 18th, 2016, of complications of some kind of unknown medical issue. All right, now let's talk about another famous funny man, and that is Fred Willard. He is extremely famous, and he also happened to show up on Bold and the Beautiful from 2014 to 2015 as a recurring actor. He played John Forrester, who is Eric Forrester's older brother. And John Forrester, if you didn't remember, is the dad of Ivy Forrester, who I think a lot of us definitely miss on Bold and the Beautiful. Fred Willard is an acting legend. You'll recognize him when you see his picture flash up here. He died at age 86 on May 15th of 2020 of natural causes. The last actor, next to the last actor that we want to talk about is someone famous who also has a famous son who's also an actor. That is Antonio Sabato Sr. His son, Antonio Sabato Jr., is also a famous actor. And he did seven episodes, Sabato Sr., seven episodes of Bold and the Beautiful in 2006 as this character, Aldo Damiano. And again, I hope I'm saying that right. And the Bold and Beautiful run that he did was his last acting gig of his life. He passed away at age 77 due to complications of COVID-19 on January 10th, 2021. All right, we have one more Bold and the Beautiful actor death to talk about. If you haven't already, though, please reach down, click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our bold updates. All right, digging in. Do you remember Peter Brown? In 1991, he played Taylor Hayes' horrible husband, Blake Hayes. He was so terrible to her. He was abusive. There was nothing good came out of that marriage. So it was kind of weird that Steffi named her son Hayes after her mom's, uh, there's no way to argue, worst husband 
an abusive man, but they just, it was like the writers just pulled a character name out of the hat without even really thinking about it because he was definitely abusive. And Peter Brown played the role of Blake Hayes from 1991 to 1992. The actor died at age 80 on March 21st, 2016 of complications of Parkinson's. And to date, those are the last major actors that have passed away that were on Bald and the Beautiful. Thanks for listening. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 